Okay, let's go ahead and solve for y in this equation. Okay, so we have 2x minus 3y equals 12. And our objective here is to rewrite this equation such that it's going to say y equals then whatever. Okay, so we're going to uh, take this 2x part, these numbers, and we're going to move everything over to this other side. We're going to have to do a few other steps, but we want to uh, solve for y or uh, another way of um, stating this is to write this equation in terms of y, okay? And y is just one of the variables in this equation. We have x and y, and uh, essentially the steps that we're gonna take are gonna be the same steps as if we were gonna solve for x. But this is a critical um, algebra uh, concept and skill that really trips up a lot of students, and it's absolutely necessary uh, to be able to write equations in terms of different variables. When you have more than one variable in an equation, um, uh, this comes up over and over again in algebra. So hopefully you're going to stick around uh, and learn this and master this. That's the whole objective of this particular video. But before we get into this problem, let me first go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the most robust online math uh, learning programs there is. Okay, so I want to let you be the judge of that, but I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. So whether you need to take a full math course or you need um, uh, help with the course that you're taking, my program just might be for you. Okay, it's all video-based, uh, super, super comprehensive. So if you like my teaching style, you're gonna get my best work and uh, explanation here. Now, one of the things I like to stress in all these videos is people don't realize the importance of math notes. Well, maybe I don't wanna say everybody does, but it's critical, okay? One of the things you need to really focus on uh, is taking outstanding math notes, okay? And that's a skill, and it doesn't usually come easy to a lot of people. I know myself, I had to really work hard at it, but uh, it's just a rule of thumb. Those students who have great math notes typically have great math grades, and the reverse is true. If you are kind of like inconsistent or disorganized or sloppy or don't really take note uh, taking seriously, it's probably going to reflect in your grade. Okay, so this is after several, several years of teaching math, you see these trends and they become kind of rules that you live by. But in the meantime, you need something to study from as you're improving your math notes if that's if your notes aren't what they need to be. But I'm going to leave a link to my math notes in the description of this video. And uh, those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, and algebra two and trigonometry. Okay, so the, if you don't have anything to study from right now, you can get my math notes, but are extremely detailed and comprehensive. All right, so let's get into this problem. And first, I just want to explain why something like this is so important, this uh, this skill. So let's say I had 2x plus 5y equals 9, and maybe 3x minus 7y equals, I don't know, let's say 3, okay? And we had some sort of system of equations. Now, if you haven't studied systems yet, um, you will be uh, shortly, okay? So if you're looking at this video because you're kind of doing this in math class right now, well, this topic of systems is going to be coming uh, right around the corner, okay? But one of the ways we can solve this system is to use something called the substitution method, okay? And it would the substitution method basically requires us to take one of these equations and solve for one of the variables. So for example, I could take the first equation, and let's say solve for x, okay, or I could solve for y or x down here or y down here. In other words, I have to take this equation and rewrite it such that it's going to say x equals whatever, okay, and that's the skill that we're practicing in um, this particular uh, video, okay, and many students uh, struggle with solving systems because they can't take this first step for solving for a particular uh, equation, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. Obviously, I have an example problem, but let's start off with an easy version here, okay? So here's 2x minus 3y equals 12. And now, the first thing is you need to understand how to solve basic equations with single variable, what we call single, var single variable linear equations. So for example, let's say I had 2x minus 3 equals 12. So we'll just get rid of the y here for a second, okay? So this equation 
uh, how would we solve this? Okay, so hopefully you're like, oh yeah, this is easy. What you would need to do, uh, let me write that a little bit better, is we have to add three to both sides of the equation. And then we would go ahead and add down. We have 2x equals 12 plus 3. And that, this time, of course, 12 plus 3 is 15, but I'm going to write it this way, 12 plus 3, okay, which, of course, is 15. And you'll see the reason why I'm kind of doing it this way in a second. And then here, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So I get x is equal to 12 plus 3 divided by 2. Of course, 12 plus 3 is 15. So 15 over 2 is what uh, x is equal to. Okay. So no big mystery. Hopefully, you know, you're, this was pretty easy. And you're like, yeah, that's uh, I understand that. Well, if you understand this, then you're going to understand um, how to how we solve for a particular variable. Okay. So I'm going to get to solving for y, but let's first solve for x because we already have this kind of set up right now. Okay. So the way you solve for a variable when there's more than one variable in an equation is to identify the variable that uh, you're solving for. We're going to solve for x first, and then I'm going to finish up by solving for y. Okay. So let's say I said solve this variable for x. Well, I look at my equation right here. And I'm going to say, okay, x, all right, this x here, this is the only thing I'm going to conceptually think of as a variable. In other words, I'm going to think of this y as a number, just for the time being, okay? So any number you want doesn't make a difference. Let's say it's 1, okay? So this will be 3 times 1, or it could be 2, 3 times 2 is 6. doesn't make a difference. This, this becomes like one unit, one value, okay? So let's say... Uh, for the time being, where we're just going to think of y as 1, all right? So to solve for x, I would literally just do the, what I just did right here, okay? This this basically the same step. But now, okay, I'm just kind of follow through what I did. Let's go ahead and do this, all right? And now I'm going to solve for x, but and then we're going to go back and finish up by solving for y. Okay, which was our original problem. But I just solved for x, and I was thinking of this as a number, okay? So let's solve for x right now. And what we're going to do is say, okay, 3y, I'm thinking of x is only as a variable. So this I'm just going to think of as one number, okay? All right, anything just in your, whatever works for your brain, just be like, okay, 3 times a number is some number. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever that value is, I need to move it to the other side. Remember, if this was just 3, I would add 3 to both sides of the equation, right? But it's not 3, it's 3y, okay? So it's just some other number, but we have to include the y, okay? You understand? So, because we're taking the same equation-solving steps, all right? We're only treating this x, because we're trying to write this in terms of x, as a variable, and we're treating this y as any particular number, okay? So now when I add down, all right, I'm going to get 2x... All right, by itself is equal to negative 3y plus 3y. That's, they cancel each other out, right? So now I have 12 plus 3y. 12 plus 3y. Okay, now you can kind of understand why I was writing it. It says 12 plus 3 in my uh, previous uh, example. And I'll put parentheses around that. And now to solve for x, I'm simply going to go, uh, divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 12 plus 3 3y divided by 2, all right? So what we just did here is we uh, rewrote this equation in terms of x, okay? That's how you would state that. So the instruction would be, hey, write this equation in terms of x or solve this equation for x, okay? And this would be the answer, okay? So here's my y. And uh, so if you feel like you understand this, okay, uh, let's go ahead and finish up by solving for y, and that was our original uh, objective. Of course, I was going to do it for you, but I want to train you up so you can do it, right? So you should go ahead and give it a try if you feel like you uh, can uh, do this problem. So rewrite this equation in terms of y. In other words, solve for y. Okay, so if you don't want to see the solution uh, just you know, uh, right now, you might want to pause the video and try it, but I'm going to go ahead and solve it. So we're going to be thinking of y 
as the only uh, variable. Okay, so x, 2 times x is like 2 times 2. It could be 4. This is just some value, okay, some number. So if I had, let's say, 2 minus 3y equals 12, if you're confused on what to do, you'll be like, oh, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. Okay, and that's what we need to do here, but it's not 2, it's a 2x. So I'm going to subtract a 2x from both sides of the equation. And now when I add down, boop, 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 okay, I have positive 2x minus 2x, that's of course 0, and I have this negative 3y equals, now here I have 12 plus a negative 2x, we can just write this uh, like so, 12 minus 2x, and now this is a, a difference it's always a good idea to put grouping symbols in there, okay, like so. And to solve for y now, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. And you have y is equal to 12 minus 2x, let's put some parentheses around that, over negative 3, and we are done. Okay, we'll give ourselves... A smiley face, and we got this right. Give yourself some stars, A plus, whatever makes you feel good. It's always nice to see those things on your, uh, you know, feedback from a test or quiz and all that good stuff. Of course, as a math teacher, you really enjoy giving those things out. You, you hate to go like minus 10, minus 10. I used to hate that because then people's reaction would be like this, and then it would just be like, oh, tears. And listen, all that could be avoided, right? How do you avoid situations like that? Well, you got to be paying attention. You got to work hard. Learning math is not going to happen uh, automatically. Okay? It's something you have to work at. And if anyone's telling you anything different, like, oh, there's a shortcut, you can, you know, uh, any a program out there or, or whoever you might be listening to say, oh, you could just do this. You don't need that. Da, 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 da. Like always looking for the path of least resistance or shortcut. I'm telling you, that's going to always end to this, right? There's only one way to learn math, and that is to work hard, practice, practice, practice. Okay, you need to have all the fundamental skills, no taking. You need great instruction. Okay, so hopefully you're getting that from your teacher. If not, you can look for other teachers out there that you better understand. Maybe it's myself or somebody else. But you have to help yourself. Okay, but I can tell you right now, absolutely unequivocally, you can learn mathematics. No matter what your starting point is you can be great at math. I know that sounds kind of oh, cheesy or like, oh, well, you know, that's just like, uh, you know, how do you know that? Well, I know that because I've been teaching math for many, 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 many years. Okay, so hopefully uh, you're still with me in this video and you learned about uh, something about how to write uh, equations in terms of another variable. It's a critical algebra skill. Okay, and of course, if you're watching this uh, video, I'm, I'm assuming you are taking a class, you know, some sort of algebra class or beyond. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, I certainly would appreciate you smashing that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, um, hopefully I convinced you to subscribe if you like my teaching style, okay? Um, I'm posting new stuff all the time and on my channel right now, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, different type of math topics that can help you out. Of course, if you want my best help, just check out the links in the description of this video. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.